Hello, and welcome to Low Code in 30. I'm Jeff Goldberg, part of the Evangelist team at Mendix. In this webinar, we're going to discuss native mobile applications and why they are key to enhancing your employees' work experience and how Mendix eases native mobile app development so you can accelerate your business. Low Code in 30 is a monthly webinar series dedicated to educating business and IT on the benefits of low-code application development. You may watch any of our previous webinars on the Mendix YouTube channel or visit www.mendix.com forward slash demos. We've covered a range of topics over the past year, including citizen development, IoT, DevOps, AI and machine learning, as well as multi-experience platforms of which we'll drill into a bit further today with our discussion on native mobile. Today, our journey begins on the topic of experience, customer experience to be more specific. From there, we'll travel into the mobile application development world and learn about the different options available and why Mendix's low-code approach to native mobile development is a customer experience game changer. Then, a first for Low Code in 30, I'll be joined by Yost Landman from Rabobank, and we'll talk about Rabobank's journey with Mendix and the experience his team is having making native mobile applications with Mendix. In one of my past jobs, I had the pleasure of working for a restaurant chain of bakery cafes who made it a point to make the experience of going to their stores feel like entering an everyday oasis. What this meant, of course, is that when a customer walks into a store, a warmth swirls around them along with the smell of fresh baked goods, making them feel like they're part of a community and in a place where they can relax from the stresses of the day. Back in the early 2000s, this concept of customer experience, it existed, but it wasn't as in your face as it is today. When you look around, Customer experience is in something as small as the design on top of a cappuccino, the efficiency for which we can transact business, the memories made fresh again through nostalgia, to the wonder the world of virtual reality conjures to life. In 2018, customer experiences with your brand started with an interaction on a mobile phone more than 50% of the time. While that may be via a website, once the customer is engaged, they expect the more refined experience, a dedicated mobile app that's interactive and fluid, ready to make their life easier. The goal here for the app maker is stickiness, and it's in these first touch points where customer perceptions are cemented and become very difficult to change over time. In fact, in a recent poll, Almost 85% of respondents stated that they are unlikely to repeat engaging with companies offering a poor mobile experience. And over 30% of those respondents stated they would tell others about the negative experience. With network effects like that, it's clear customer experience is a key differentiator for the success of brands. At this point, you may be saying, so what? Who cares? We won't sell directly to external customers. Customer experience is for someone else to worry about. Okay, that's fair. But what about your internal customers, your employees? Your employees are customers of Lyft, Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Pinterest, and many more brands they see every day on their mobile phones. These companies are raising the stakes for success in the marketplace because they obsessively focus on customer experience. Consequently, your employees expect better customer experiences from the apps they use for work. And when they have to do things manually or log into multiple systems to see disparate data, it impacts their engagement with your company and with your customers. I'll give you an example that serves as a great transition into the native mobile part of our conversation today. Recently, 
Some of my colleagues were riding up the elevator to our office. They were standing next to a field service worker, delivering packages to the offices in the building. She had three, yes, three mobile devices in her hands, all of them necessary for her to do her job. Why? She said that her job required data from each one of the devices. And while headquarters can see the data from all three in one interface, she's left to eyeball data from one device to the other and try to correlate the correct information related to where she's going and what she's delivering. Part of this may be due to each device having a special attachment, like some sort of scanner, or a special app that's designed for a specific purpose. Nevertheless, the friction created from this user experience, this internal customer experience, has a negative effect from end to end on the experience chain. This is where low-code and native mobile come together and solve this problem, propelling customer experience from the reactive to the proactive. Regarding mobile application development, there are a lot of flavors to choose from for creating, developing, and making applications. But four different styles stand out today as the main types of applications that a developer or anyone can create. Native mobile applications, sometimes called pure native mobile, are developed using traditional coding languages. Objective-C and Swift for iOS, and Java and Kotlin for Android. Pure native mobile applications offer superior performance and the tightest integration with device capabilities because the languages are optimized for the operating systems. The trade-off is that the pure native application development isn't cross-platform, so you have to maintain two separate code bases, often using separate development teams. Pure native is expensive because it takes more time, resources, and specialized skills to build and maintain. Hybrid applications are more like a website for mobile than a true app. They use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create an experience wrapped in what is called a web view to work on mobile devices and be packaged for app store distribution. Hybrid applications are cross-platform using frameworks like Cordova and PhoneGap to wrap the application and provide access to device capabilities. Hybrid apps take less time to make and maintain than pure native apps. Unfortunately, developer efficiency gains result in subpar user experience. In addition, the rise of progressive web apps and React Native are demonstrating that Cordova and PhoneGap are showing their age and waning support among the community. Progressive web apps are an advancement on the hybrid approach. However, they're designed to run in standard internet browsers like Chrome, which makes them cross-platform. Progressive web apps aim to deliver an experience similar to a native app using service workers connecting the app to device capabilities. PWAs deliver a smooth user experience and work even when end users aren't browsing because of these service workers. PWAs aren't without trade-offs. Because they aren't native code, they drain the battery faster. In addition, while PWAs offer access to device capabilities, it's inconsistent and doesn't support all the features native apps do. React Native is a JavaScript library that makes it possible to create mobile applications that are nearly indistinguishable from native applications made using Objective-C or Java. It's directly native, which means React Native ties directly into native code to access OS styling and device capabilities. Because it's JavaScript, React Native is cross-platform. Development is faster and less expensive, and there are many more developers with JavaScript skills than pure native experience. 
Standing up a React Native project is challenging because the library itself doesn't have DevOps built into it. While if React Native has a large and diverse ecosystem of components and native device integrations, getting into the native code may be necessary from time to time if what is needed has not been done before. So I've been talking a lot about the different types of frameworks and technologies you can use to make mobile applications. But what does it have to do with Mendix? Well, Mendix being a low-code application development platform and a general purpose one at that, actually gives you the possibility to make a number of these different types of mobile applications in one project from a single code base. So with Mendix, it's possible to make hybrid applications, progressive web applications, and now native mobile applications, all from the same code base. How's this possible? Well, because Mendix takes a model-driven approach to application development, it enables the platform to abstract away the complexities of using these different mobile application development technologies. As a result, the developer experience is the same regardless of what type of mobile application you wish to make. Furthermore, because Mendix is extensible, developers are empowered to add capabilities using code, so using JavaScript in this case, or Java, which then become reusable drag and drop widgets and actions that the rest of the development team can take advantage of. At Mendix, we chose to integrate React Native into the low-code development experience that we pioneered because we recognize hybrid apps do not meet the consumer-grade standards end users expect from their enterprise applications. React Native has very high regard in the tech community with over 10,000 contributors on GitHub and has backing from brands like Facebook, the originators of the framework, Microsoft, Uber, and many more companies. The benefits of bringing Mendix low-code development capabilities together with React Native's native mobile application development capabilities is that you get all the benefits of React Native. In addition to that, you get all of the DevOps that Mendix brings to bear out of the box. So all of that hard scaffolding of new projects for React Native projects, that goes away. It's as simple as just creating a new app and boom, you're right in the environment and you're building. That visual development with page templates, building blocks, and snippets increases the front-end development efficiency so that you can reuse different front-end elements over and over again. And you can easily style and change those. And I'll talk about that in a moment. You reuse and share model and control aspects of an app with other channels in the same project. So let's say you're building a responsive web application along with an application that has hybrid capabilities. In addition to that, you can add native mobile right in the same project and use the same domain model and use the same microflows and functions to provide the appropriate user experience for the appropriate channel that the application is intended for. It's easy to customize the properties for the widgets and the front end elements in the development experience because they're all built with React. And that's the great thing because you get to take advantage of React Native's extensive library of components through Mendix pluggable widgets and JavaScript action capabilities. So if there's a React widget you like to use, you can drop that in and start using it and create a reusable component. Lastly, this combination of low code and React Native together gives you the ability to spend more time focusing on solving the problem and enhancing the user and customer experience than spending time writing code because that low code capability enables you to move faster and build that same 
high quality output. So what we've accomplished at Mendix is an abstracted cross-platform approach to delivering native mobile applications faster than traditional coding at a lower total cost without sacrificing quality in the output. Recently, I had the opportunity to collaborate on an application with my team. At first, I was skeptical of what I'd be able to achieve creating native pages and taking advantage of device functionality. What I found is that the developer experience is identical to building any other kind of Mendix application. It was really cool to be able to add barcode scanning to the app, set some properties for styling and data connectivity, and then see the app refresh happen over the air instantly and start using the capability that I had just added to this application. I understand this sounds a bit self-serving because I work for Mendix. So let's talk to a customer and learn more about their experience using Mendix to build native mobile applications. Today, I'm joined by Joost Landman from Rabobank. Yoast is a business architect using Mendix to build native mobile applications. Yoast, thanks for being with us for Low Code in 30. Thank you for inviting me. Great to be here. Yoast, tell our viewers uh, a little bit about Rabobank and, and what it is that you do for the company. Okay, uh, Rabobank is uh, one of the three large banks in the Netherlands. Domestically, its focus is on retail banking, but uh, internationally, it's primarily focused on uh, banking for food. And this means uh, we finance uh, food and agriculture business. And in that international area, my role as a business architect is to drive the architecture, vision and roadmap in both the domain of uh, financing farmers and the domain of uh, what we call international direct banking. And that's all about online retail savings. Rabobank has been a Mendix customer for a few years now. Can you tell me a little bit about why uh, Rabobank chose Mendix to develop applications? A few years ago, in this uh, this area of online retail savings, we were um, going through a transformation for uh, well Rabobank Belgium and uh, Rabodirect in Germany. Because over the years, those banks had grown into a, a situation where we had expensive backend systems at an online banking channel that was uh, well, difficult and slow to change. And this caused our, our savings money, so the, the savings that we gathered from retail customers, uh, to be uh, quite expensive. And at the same time, the customer experience in that web channel was lagging behind compared to the competition. So we uh, decided to, uh, well, basically redesign the complete IT landscape and for the online banking channel, we chose to build it in such a way that it would be fast to change and at the same time relatively low cost. And the solution we uh, we found was a combination of uh, well, just a basic off-the-shelf web content management system for all the static content in the web channel with a no-code application platform to build all the interaction components. And that no-code uh, platform, uh, the one we chose, was Mendix, because it, uh, for, for us, it stood out from its competition in, uh, in in user interface design and in backend integrations. So that's how we uh, came in contact with Mendix. And you have, uh, I, I remember hearing you spoke at uh, you spoke at Mendix World, and I remember you starting off your presentation. You said. 500,000. 500,000 customers using our uh, Mendix built web channel for online banking. Yes. So now you're making native mobile apps with Mendix. And can you tell me a little bit about these mobile apps that you're building and the problems that they solve? Yes, we're currently building uh, mobile apps for, uh, again, Rabobank Belgium and RaboDirect in Germany. And um, well, a couple of years ago, we actually had uh, a mobile app for uh, iOS and Android, uh, but it just proved too expensive to maintain and uh, to, to keep improving it. This is a fairly small team and uh, there is real cost pressure. Huh? Uh, so now in order to, uh, at the same time, keep the cost low, but also the customer experience high, we um, want 
our, to build our mobile app in the same technology as a web channel. So we can have the same team building and maintaining it. And, and also so we can share well, the technical components between the web channel and the mobile app channel. We really wanted to build this mobile app with Mendix. With the iOS and Android apps, you have to maintain those separately. And with a small team, it becomes really difficult to do that. And one of the exactly. things with building the native mobile app with Mendix is you get that cross-platform capabilities that React Native brings to the table. So you can build once and basically deploy to, to both operating systems. You know, is there something special about the native app versus going with a hybrid or with a progressive web application? that made you choose the native path versus uh, some other options that you have in mobile application development? <laughs> yeah, we actually tried to build a hybrid app first. So we tried to, uh, we tried the hybrid path initially. And um, well, I have to tell you, building and maintaining a mobile app that offers a good experience in the first place, but is also very secure as you would expect for a bank is actually not that easy and in our small team we can't have a lot of security expertise on the floor so we decided to use an off-the-shelf authentication and basically security sdk to give us a head start in that area and build a proof of concept integrating that security solution that has its own native screens for things like logon and transaction signing. And we try to integrate that with a, a hybrid app built with Mendix. And we got it working perfectly fine in the end, but well, we, we realized uh, while evaluating that technical skills that we would need to maintain this would be hard to facilitate in this, uh, in this small development team because we, well, we actually needed quite a few different technical skills to to integrate the native part with the hybrid part. So users can can switch from a hybrid screen to a native screen and back and uh, come back in the right context. Right. Uh, and at the same time, we realized that well, as you know, building a hybrid app, your user experience will be well, average at best. We just didn't want to settle for that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and exactly at that moment, uh, well, we, we we were in contact with Mendix uh, all the time, of course, but uh, they they recognized it and uh, offered this uh, back then brand new and still beta feature of React Native, and well, that seemed to actually solve both the skills issue for us as well as that user experience issue. Perfect match. That's, what's their experience been like so far developing native mobile with Mendix? What, 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 what's that been like and, and what do they like about it? Well, the team tells me um, that this modeling environment in Mendix 8, it works like a charm. It's, uh, it's, uh, it was uh, fully stable so they can actually build the features they, uh, they want to build in the sprint and it works uh, nice. And, um, and also they're uh, really excited how uh, how Mendix 8 makes it easy to write their uh, their custom widgets to integrate with any React Native libraries. That's just amazing. I've I've been working with it now for the past few weeks in the preparation for this webinar. And as someone who's uh, not a traditional developer, but someone who's learned to develop software over the years, I was just blown away by how easy the modeling environment makes it for you to be able to create these consumer grade experiences and then go ahead and test them out and, and see the, the result of that in such a short period of time. It's, it's, just, it's just a great experience. I imagine your team feels very similar. Amazing with the basic understanding of how IT development works, that you're actually able to do so much more with Mendix. It helps you doing the things that that before were were only could only be done by uh, by experienced developers. Yes, and then uh, the platform basically helps them through the complete lifecycle management as well, so they can basically focus on delivering functionality instead of on uh, on all the technical things that they would also have to do in uh, in other uh, uh, circumstances. 
Yeah, I, I'm also impressed. You know, we're we're now three releases into the the general availability of the native mobile capabilities, and the R and D team and the products team are adding new functionality every month to the capability. I imagine your team is always watching what's new coming out that they'd be able to uh, take advantage of in these apps that they're building. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, Yoast, it's great to hear that things are going so well for you at Rabobank and the progress that you're making using native mobile and that it's able to do the things that you need it to be able to do, especially with Mendix, to solve the problems that you have and also provide these consumer-grade opportunities to customers. So thanks so much for your time and for joining us today. Uh, thank you for having me. To recap, we're all being trained to expect a frictionless customer experience from all of the channels companies and employers engage with us. The smartphone is a main driver for capturing more of our mindshare, and it's because makers of the apps know that users will interact with them more if the experience reduces friction and makes their lives easier. That's why Mendix gives you freedom to choose what kind of experience you want to deliver to your customers. The platform enables you to make hybrid, PWA, and native mobile applications all from the same code base. So it becomes a business decision which technology you want to use to make your mobile application. What's great is that there is this great reusability across all three mobile app types. So as your needs change, Mendix makes it possible to reuse and adapt what you have to make your applications. As Yoast Landbin stated, Rabobank chose Mendix because its team can move fast, keep costs low, and deliver a great customer experience all at the same time. In addition, his team enjoys the Mendix developer experience because it gives them the flexibility to model new features and extend their applications using the latest and greatest technologies.